YouTube fam, welcome to the video. So today I decided to do something a little bit special. Um, so a lot of you guys ask me what I eat in a day and I did a video like that before when I was in Korea but I feel like a lot of things changed since I'm back in France. So I'm gonna show you guys what I eat in a day and also I'm gonna answer some of you guys' questions because I feel like I haven't done a Q&A in a while. I figured I would combine the two. So this is what we're gonna start with. So it's currently 11.52 and this is usually um, the time when I start eating. So I do intermittent fasting, so it means that I have like a six hour or sometimes eight hours uh, eating window. So I try to eat during that time and I don't eat after 7 p.m. So I start eating at around 12 and I stop eating at around 8. Sometimes even like it's even less. I usually have dinner around 6. But yeah, that's what I do. So, there are a lot of different types of intermittent fasting, but this is the way I like to do it now because in Korea I used to eat only one meal a day and um, it worked for me, but since I'm, I came back in France and now I'm living with my dad, you know, it's not really nice to just skip dinner every day and, you know, he doesn't really understand that lifestyle and stuff, so I don't wanna, you know, push him to to do that with me or anything so you know I just eat dinner with him but I just eat my own my own food most of the time so enough rambling and now I'm gonna explain to you what I have so this is what I love to have like I could have this every day as much as I like cheat days and stuff I love to eat healthy and this is my favorite thing to have it's a salad so it's basically half a whole salad so it's like 125 grams or something, maybe 150 grams, I don't really know. I like to add a lot of lemon juice, that's the only sauce I use, I don't use any dressing. The key point of this salad is the dried tomatoes. This is something I'm so obsessed about and something that I cannot live without, like I cannot have a salad without it because it adds like a tanginess and you know, it has some oil as well so it like it kind of makes the sauce a little bit better because the oil tastes like tomatoes and I also added a chicken breast uh, just one chicken breast that I sliced and I put it inside so that's what I'm gonna be having for lunch I'm gonna toss the salad so what I like to do is put this in a Tupperware and then I lock it and I like to toss it that way. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Like so. And when you open it, it's all nice. So, let's eat. Okay, I'm gonna keep this mukbang style because, you know. <laughs> but I love this salad so much. Like, it's so good. Cheers. Mm. Dried tomatoes, they make such a big difference. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna answer. answer some of you guys' questions now. So I asked you guys that on the community tab on YouTube like a month ago, <laughs> so it's way overdue. But I'm gonna go from the questions that got the most likes. So if I can't answer all of them in this video, I'm sorry. I will try my best. So the first question is from Grace Madison and she asked, can you make a what I eat in a day? There you go, girl. <laughs> so this one is from Sylvie Butterfly and she asked, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have one sister and one brother. So my little brother is eight and my little sister is 13.
Yes. She then asked, did you ever go to university? No, I didn't. What's your favorite food? Um, that would be pizza, tortellini, and cheesecake. <laughs> I cannot choose. And chocolate. I don't know. Then Zainab MKSM asked, what do you do for a living? I eat. <laughs> I used to be a teacher when I was in Korea and an entertainer, I was a singer and also K-pop show host but um, since I came back to France I quit all of that and I'm gonna go back to Korea in June like I'm thinking about going back to entertainment but it's a really like I don't know I could do a whole story time about why I quit singing and all of that but I think it's a really hard industry and it's not really for me. So yeah, so for now I'm just doing YouTube, which I love. Melina Mendiola asked, how old are you? I'm 25 and I'm gonna be 26 in July. So I'm a Cancer. Would you ever travel to US one day? If so, where and what cities would you want to visit? Of course, I've been to the US before. I traveled to New York and New Orleans when I was a teenager with my dad and it was amazing. I loved especially Louisiana. That was amazing. I want to go back so bad like oh. But the places I want to visit are LA and probably Miami because there is the Versace mansion there and I'm like Versace is my favorite brand ever and it's my dream to be able to stay a night there like I know it's so expensive <laughs> but it's like um, a thousand plus dollars to just have like the most basic room there but <laughs> that, that's my dream it's in Miami so Asiam Agil, I hope I pronounced your name right, asked Can you do long story short, why do you live in Korea and why do you like doing mukbang? So I don't live in Korea anymore, I'm gonna go back so reason why I love Korea so much is I don't know, I love the culture, I love the food, I love the people, I love the weather, I love the city of Seoul itself is beautiful and even the seaside like Busan of, or Sokcho or Gangneung are so beautiful and kind of reminds me of the coast here. I don't know, I mean it's so convenient, like everything is open 24-7, like the nightlife is amazing, um, it's also very chill, like I don't know, I love the language of course, I miss speaking Korean so much, like you, you don't even understand, like I love Korean language. And why I like doing mukbang? Because I love to eat. <laughs> I love to eat and I love to share with you guys what I like to eat and what to eat in other countries and stuff. So yeah, that's basically why. I just love to share and I wish that you, you guys could be here with me and eat the food together, you know? <laughs> that's for you! Mm. 
today we're eating a healthy together. How cool is that? Nardis Ben asked, do you love Michael Jackson? Because I love him and he had such a hard life. God bless him. I love Michael Jackson. He's my favorite artist ever. Are you kidding? So much people like talk shit about him and I'm like, shut up. Because he was the most kind hearted and most like beautiful person. You don't even understand. He's like such an angel. He was. I feel like the industry destroyed him you know and that's so sad connie weirdo asked what's your zodiac sign i love astrology and i'm so like passionate about it so if you want to know all of my natal charts <laughs> i can share it to you guys i share a lot of things like that on my instagram although you, you shouldn't judge people based on their zodiac sign but i think it's so like interesting but anyways i'm a cancer um rising in leo uh, moon in gemini so yeah Let me know if you're a cancer as well. <laughs> Minahil Tarik asked, Do you have any plans for marriage in the future? If yes, then what type of your dream husband would be? I don't really plan on, on getting married anytime soon. Just because I haven't really met the person yet, and even even if I was with someone, I wouldn't really like get married just yet because I feel like it's a big deal, you know. I want to be sure that it's the right person for me. I want to be sure I want to spend the rest of my life with that person. Like I want to be very like passionate about it. I don't want to just get married just to get married, you know. And my dream husband would be someone that's really supportive. I think that's the most important thing. And that's the thing that I was lacking the most in my relationships. I want someone that uplifts me, you know. Someone that encourages me to do the things I love. Someone that's really positive. Because I've been with some super negative persons as well and I'm a very positive person myself so I want to be positive together you know I want to be with someone that sees life as something beautiful and something you should cherish and someone that lives in the moment and someone that is really passionate about what he's doing I want someone like really kind also. I want someone that cares about me and cares about animals as well. I love animals. salad too now oh well <laughs> Tammy Barton asked if you could meet any famous person dead or alive who would it be love your beautiful love you too if I could meet someone dead or alive it would be Michael Jackson <laughs> because as I told you before He's one of the most kind-hearted person ever and I would love like meeting him must be the most like I don't know amazing thing ever it would be like kind of meeting meeting God you know what I mean He's like so I mean it's crazy 
I love him so much. Akira Shinigami asks, what is your dream? If you've already achieved it, what is the next dream? Well, my dream originally was to live in Korea, which I achieved. So my next dream would be be happy and be able to do the things that I love, which is what I'm doing. So I couldn't be happier. So, But one dream that I have would be to travel the world and make videos. That would be amazing to just travel and to show you guys different foods in different countries. That would be amazing. Jenny H asks, do you miss Japan? I do miss Japan. I'm planning on going to Japan after Korea, so I'm very excited about that. Do you plan on staying in France for a while? Where do you plan on living next? I'm staying in France just uh, because I need to make my visa and everything. So I'm just staying here until June and um, I'm going to Korea next. And after Korea, I think I'm gonna be moving to Japan. But I'm not sure, you know, it can always change. For now, that's my plan. You see all the sauce at the bottom? That's all lemon juice. Like, I like my salad to be very, like, sour. <laughs> and it's so, like, detox, you know? <laughs> Dick Duckins asked, Did you gain extra weight from the moment you started your channel? I love you! Yes, I did. <laughs> And you guys are always here to remind me. But yes, I did gain weight, which I don't really care, you know. I'm actually starting to like trying to lose weight again. But I do a lot of like detox to just, you know, flush out all the toxins and stuff from all the sugar I eat. I'm not too stressed out about it because, you know, it's my body, it's my choice. I know some people might be like triggered by it, like, oh my gosh, she gained so much weight. <laughs> but I'm not overweight, you know, so it's fine. I love you too. Ariana Lopez asked, if you had to dye your hair any color, what color would it be? I love you, love you too. Well, I've dyed my hair lots of different colors. <laughs> I've dyed my hair red, I've dyed my hair like blonde, I've dyed my hair blue, I've dyed my hair like all the colors of the rainbow you could think of. One thing I never did and I would never do is green. Mm. But the next hair color I want to have is pink, like baby pink, you know. So I'm going to do a video about it. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how I do it, which is not going to be soon because I want to my roots to grow out a little more so that I can bleach them. Mm. Although I think that pink with black roots looks nice. I want to be like, I want to have very blonde hair when I do it. But I also very like the color I have now, which is like an ashy, um, creamy blonde. But I love pink so much. I think pink is my color. I had purple hair before. It was very cool. There's a pool of lemon juice. Like, <laughs> I'm crazy. I love it that way. Done! Let's answer some more and then we'll move on to dessert. So a lot of people ask me where do I live and what's my ethnicity? Um, I currently live in France because I was born in France but I have Lithuanian blood so my grandpa 
from my mother's side was Lithuanian so I'm actually learning Lithuanian right now <laughs> so if you are Lithuanian please don't be so harsh with me but Manusenelis buvo lietuvis taigi aš mokauzi lietuvių taigietes sunku oh my god so cringe that's so cringe I'm sorry and my grandmother from my mother's side is from Portugal which I don't look Portuguese at all, but yeah. She's Portuguese and uh, from the Martinique island. So she has very dark skin. Uzumaki Isaac asked, what do you miss from Korea the most? What do I miss? Um, the convenience stores. <laughs> the convenience stores in Korea are amazing. Like you could go any time of the day, of the night, it's open. And you can buy anything. And I miss the convenience store food. Stephanie Madison asked, What are your interests, hobbies outside of doing mukbangs? Well, I love to sing. I love to sing, that's my biggest passion. Like, I love it. And uh, I also really like to listen to music. Like, I listen to music almost all the time. And lately, I've been really into um, Korean hip hop and rap music let me know if you guys like that too like i love sick k i love woody girl child and they were in france like having a european tour um they were in france like two days ago and i couldn't go see them because it was in paris and i'm so sad but yeah i live kind of far from paris so hopefully when i go back to korea i can see them i love music from the 80s as well and I love to read mangas as well currently I'm reading Attack on Titans Shingeki no Kyojin and um, I've seen the anime but uh, I'm reading the manga actually because it's much faster because <laughs> the anime takes so long to like be released and my favorite anime and manga ever is Nana so now that we've finished our salad, let's move to dessert. So sometimes for dessert I would have a fruit like banana or apple or pear but uh, sometimes I really crave this. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what that is or you do you have this in your country but it's sardines and these are my favorite sardines from this brand Conetab. And it's just the olive oil. They also have a dried tomato one and it's pretty good, but I like this one. So I like to have this as dessert. I know that's probably weird, but because <laughs> it's not even sweet. I know some people can't really go to sleep when they eat fruits, but I never had any problems. So I like to eat fruits for dinner. So that's what they look like. It's little like um, fish basically in oil. And I'm so obsessed with that. I don't know, like, it's just tastes so good. And it's also very good on bread with butter, but that's not really healthy, so. <laughs> mm. You guys, these are the best. Actually, no. The best that I had was... when I was visiting a factory where they make it fresh and it's like so expensive but you can keep them for years and the more longer you keep them without opening them the better they are and the like most soft and creamy they become it's like wine you know it's better when it's aged <laughs> it's very good for your health because it's a lot of omega-3 it's very good for you It's like a little treat. <laughs> I love it so much. You can eat the whole thing, even the bones. 
they're so soft because they've been in oil for so long. Mm -hmm. So I don't always have these. It's because I've been like craving them. But sometimes I would have tuna. But when I have tuna, I mix it with my salad without the chicken. But these are so convenient to eat because they're in the little can. It's so good. So Flariel asked, curious to get to know a bit more on your current living situation. Why do you change homes once of your dad's and mom's? Do you have a patchwork family? My mom and my dad broke up when I was a baby, so I've never actually known them together. But they're still on good terms, you know? They still talk to each other. They still, you know, they were like um, childhood lovers. So they've known each other for years, even before I was born. And my mom had to move because she had to go to art school, but my dad had to work here in Cannes, so they broke up. But my dad has always been taking care of me even though he wasn't there. He always came to visit me every year. But I was living with my mom the whole time. Like, I always lived with my mom. So my dad and I would not be able to see each other very much because I lived so far from him. So he would be coming to visit me and would, we would go traveling. So that's when I started to love traveling. That's because of him. We would go to Japan, to Korea, to the US. We would go always together for like three years. I was living by myself. I would only go visit my parents from time to time. And then I decided to move to Korea. So when I moved to Korea, my dad would come see me. And we were like kind of um, catching up, you know. All those years that we've been apart, um, we've kind of reunited. I don't know if that makes sense, but I would see him more often than I see my mom. Yeah, I think that's really important to just connect again with your parents. So I'm just really grateful that he spends um, all of his time when he has a vacation to come see me. So now that I'm back in France, of course, I had to go to his place, which is here because you know, it makes sense, like, we kind of, like, we are very, very close, and we grew, like, closer and closer as years passed, and um, now being here with him is a blessing, like, because <laughs> I've never actually lived with him, I was always with my mom, so I visited my mom for New Year's Eve and for the New Year, so I've been to her place, I stayed there three weeks, um, you probably saw it on my videos, there was a different background. But yeah, I also really love my mom dearly because she was the one that always raised me. Yeah, now she's raising my siblings, so <laughs> she doesn't need to care that much about me anymore. I'm a grown up, you know? Okay, so it's 12.34 right now, so that's it for my lunch. So I will see you when I have my dinner, which will be around 5 or 6. Basically what I do after, I would go walk or, you know, um, do some type of cardio. So dance, blast some music and just dance, you know, I like to do that. So that's what I'm gonna do and um, yeah, I will see you when I'm done. So, I'm back. Uh, I just changed because I felt like super cold for some reason. Uh, this is like way too oversized. I look so bulky in this, but it's so comfortable. So, I did like my workout. So, as I told you, I just do some like kind of cardio and just walk around and dance. 
So I try to do like uh, at least 6,000 steps a day, but lately I've been doing like 10,000. So I did like 10,000 steps, which is good because it makes you burn like some calories and you know, you gotta stay active. So I'm gonna have my dinner now, although I usually go very light for dinner. But the reason why I go this light today is because I want to finish the cereals that I've tried, the shokela. So this is like two servings with the rest of the milk. So that's, that's that. So I'm gonna be having tuna because you know talking about tuna earlier it made me really want to have it so <laughs> i'm gonna be having tuna with one uh pink lady apple these are one of my favorite apples they are like sweet and very like crunchy i love them and i'm gonna continue answering you guys questions dorothy sales asked what's your favorite korean food my favorite Korean food is tteokbokki, so spicy rice cakes, and I can't wait to have that again. Oh my god. You guys don't even know. Like, I could make it myself, to be honest, because I have an Asian, like, grocery store. Like, five minutes away. Maybe more, more like 10. But I feel like that's not really like how it tastes in Korea. You know what I mean? Because I made it before for my family. For my mom, actually. And, um,. I mean, it was good, but not as good as in Korea. Do you have a skincare routine? Uh, I actually used to have a skincare routine, like a very like 12 steps skincare routine. I used to use a lot of products on my face because I had really bad acne when I was a teen. But now I found my holy grail products and you're not gonna believe what it is i swear by this and it's coconut oil believe me i have very 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 oily skin so you would think that putting more oil on your face is gonna make you even more oily, but trust me, I put coconut oil on my face before I go to bed as like um, moisturizer. I don't use moisturizer anymore, just coconut oil. And it's crazy how it changed my skin. I don't have any like breakouts anymore. And as a cleanser, I use like exfoliating cleansers all the time, always. And they tell you to use like exfoliating cleansers like two times a week. I use it every day. <laughs> So I exfoliate my skin, I then put coconut oil, I put eye cream sometimes, but other thing that I do that changed my skin is face masks. Like when I came back from Korea, I brought so much face masks because the Korean face masks are so good. Like they make your skin so bright and so like smooth and I have one that's gold and snail extract this one is wow crazy there are like so many different brands but 
any Korean face masks are good, trust me. Safin Saf Saf asked, most happy moment in your life? So the happiest moment, oh my god, that's hard. I think it's probably the day I won the Jeonggook Nore Jarang um, singing contest. So it's basically like a, a TV show in Korea. It airs like every Sunday. It's basically a music, like a singing contest. And I applied for it. And uh, I actually won second place. Actually, the my medal is here. This is the medal. So this is a program from the TV channel KBS. And this is the Ususang. So Ususang means basically second place. So yeah, I was just like so happy. And it's not just to have won this contest second place. is because like everything about it was amazing like i got to sing a song with kim yeonja which is a very popular korean singer i got to sing on stage with her and <laughs> it was so unexpected that it was like a dream uh, the video is on youtube actually i posted it and the uh, fan cam is on youtube as well the moment where i sang with her they didn't put that in the show, but it was like a open concert, so there was a audience and everything. So it was amazing. Like that moment, I was like, "Am I dreaming?" <laughs> so yeah, maybe that was like one of the happiest moments of my life, and I'm so grateful that there is video of it, so that I can look back on it. Cherry Panda asked, "What's your favorite dessert?" Cheesecake. <laughs> And if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Well, if I could change one thing about myself. Hmm. I think that would be be less naive because I think that a lot of people take advantage of my kindness and when I realize that I feel so dumb <laughs> so yeah probably be less naive yeah but it's so hard because i tend to give my trust to people very fast even though i, I just met them like if they ask me for something i'm gonna do it for them like i've had people ask me for money like not even like i'm not talking about homeless i'm talking about people that friends of friends or i don't know and they're like, oh, like I forgot my wallet or like whatever. I'm always there to just like help them. But I'm like, oh, it's okay. You can pay me back later. That it's not, it's no big deal. But I don't ever have the guts to say like, oh, you owe me money. Like, you know, I'm not like that. So they just never give me back. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. <laughs> and it's not like I'm, I want to be friends with them or anything. So yeah, <laughs> be careful guys. <laughs> Gabby Castro Diaz asked, favorite K-pop groups? Well, my favorite K-pop groups, when I started listening to K-pop, it was like more than 10 years ago. So I'm talking about like old school groups like Big Bang, 21, Dongbang Shinki was my favorite, DBSK. Shiny, Infinite, those are my favorite groups. Now, I really like more hip-hop, so I'm not into groups anymore, um, but I really like BTS, I'm not gonna lie. I actually started listening to BTS when they first debuted, 
so they were not even popular back then so to see that they are so popular now i'm like wow because <laughs> i started listening to them when they were like not really known I think it's awesome what they have accomplished. Kelly Wilson asked, what food sweets would you like to try from the States? I'd love to send you something. Oh, thank you so much, Kelly. That's so cute. That's so sweet. Thank you. And I don't know because I don't really know what you guys have. I, I mean, I see it on YouTube, but I don't know. I love chocolate. <laughs> so anything chocolate, really. But thank you, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. And do you have any pets? Oh well. I used to have a cat, so her name was Lulu. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to get emotional, you guys. But, um, okay, I raised her since she was a little kitty. She was like five months old when I got her. She was the most cutest, the most kind little creature and I cherished her all my life until she got sick and um, I was in Korea when it happened and of course she was not with me, she was in France with my mom and I get a call at like 3am one day because you know time difference and everything so my mom calls me and she's like, I'm at the doctor right now and, you know, they want to put her down, put her to sleep because she's very sick and the operation is going to cost a lot of money and there's not, like, a lot of chances that she can recover from it because she was very weak to begin with. So... I took the hard decision, that, that was the hardest decision that I've ever made but I was like I don't want her to suffer any longer, she was not eating anymore, she was not drinking, she was very skinny and yeah they put her to sleep when I was in Korea and that was the hardest thing I had to do. So I promised myself that if I get another pet ever, I would just be there for them a hundred percent because you know when I got Lulu she was I was living with my boyfriend at the time and I was with her the whole time but you know when I decided to move to Korea I couldn't take her with me that was impossible so yeah but I'm sure she's watching over me at all times so yeah flower bunny asked what's your favorite animal oh my god my favorite animal Mm. My favorite animal is the deer. That's why my first tattoo that I ever got was a deer. It was my first ever tattoo and all my tattoos are animals, you guys. I kind of consider them as my totems, you know? But I want to get so many more tattoos. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Like when I go back to Korea, I'm gonna be getting like so many more. You guys are gonna be like, stop. <laughs> Let's move on to cereal. So I had it like for um, the cereal mukbang I did last time. And that's what was left. I think that's two servings with a little bit of milk. That's just perfect. So this is vanilla rice milk, 
with Chocella. So if you want my full review on this cereal, you can go watch my last cereal video where I had these with the granola. So I want to thank you guys so much for asking me so many questions. Yes. Mm. Who else ends the day with cereal instead of starting the day with it? <laughs> I know this is not really a diet food, but you know, like I say, it's more about quantity than quality, you know what I mean? I mean, of course quality is better, but I mean, there is no bad food like bad bad, it's more about portions. Because you can lose weight eating pizza, just not the whole pizza. <laughs> So yeah, a lot of, of you guys asked me um, if I have a boyfriend and everything, and no I don't. <laughs> My last relationship was not too long ago actually. If you're watching, hi! <laughs> I don't even know what I could say about this. <laughs> Cause it just ended things very weirdly and just before Valentine's Day. So I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> But you know, I've been so disappointed like like countless times that I'm not even surprised anymore. I was not even sad. I was angry. Yeah, I wanted to kill him. <laughs> I'm like so fed up with boys. Like, that's the reason why I don't want relationship. Because I don't want to be disappointed anymore. I feel like guys take me for a fool, like they think I'm dumb, <laughs> they think I don't know what's going on and they think they can take advantage of me and just like throw me away, you know, so. I'm gonna keep living my life and not care about them anymore. <laughs> Not that I cared in the first place, but... Mm. That's bomb. I'm gonna drink the milk this time because I totally forgot last time and <laughs> one of you guys told me like, why didn't you drink the milk? I'm like, I know girl, I forgot. <laughs> so, cheers. Mm. Ah. Bird 
perfect. And just like that, that's everything I will be having today. Wow. You know, if I didn't have the cereal, I would definitely be having more food, but since it's kind of high in calories, I don't want to go too overboard, you know what I mean? Because it's not supposed to be a cheat day. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to thank you guys so, so much for being patient with me because I know this video was long overdue. And yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe today. And I will see you for my next one. Bye, Miamu fam!